First off, a question before we get into my topic. To be honest, open and frank, the existence of God, no matter who your choice of God is, none of them can be proven. It all comes down to a very, very personal choice. According to the rumors, gods are generally invisible, live in our hearts, cannot be heard, only felt, you know, etc. They live in the sky or may be everywhere, but nowhere, etc. How do we go about proving that exist? Look, I'm not looking for proof to disbelieve God. Most of us don't search for proof to believe Him either. Now, atheists can explain the history of religion and show how and explain the science of evolution and the Big Bang. I would expect nothing less from intelligent people. Conversely, theists can quote from the Bible and tell stories that have stood the test of time for thousands of years. And they too are intelligent people. But that doesn't explain or prove God either way. Some people believe in God and some don't. Regardless, it's what you believe in your heart, your choice, and that should be enough for Mr. Anybody. Now, with that behind us, let's get into the topic here. Truth is, and this is not a cop-out, I do somehow believe there was a creative force of some kind behind our existence. But I don't necessarily believe that Old Testament God Yahweh was that original source. I feel the story of Yahweh is only Iron Age man's way of explaining where we came from and how we got here. Just ancient man's answers to existence. Now, here's a technical part to remember. The most fundamental law of science is the law of cause and effect. Meaning every single effect within our world has a cause and everything has an original starting point. It states that every material effect we see, there is a cause that came before it. Now, getting to my point, and you're probably seeing it coming, I'm going to use that controversial term, intelligent design. It's a school of thought asserting that the universe was designed by a superior intelligence. And that's customarily identified with God. This is where it falls out of favor. This is because it singles out a creator God, and most people think intelligent design is just another way to explain creationism and to speak down or over the evolutionary theories. I'm sure it's been used that way. But I'm only saying some things in this world cannot be explained by chance. Somehow it seems a higher power or some sort must have been involved. And design arguments are not new. The debate over design and nature began at least as early as the ancient Greeks and the Roman philosophers. The Greek philosophers believed that life could not originate without intelligent guidance. Plato and Aristotle both advocated that a mind was required to explain life's existence. In more modern times, Isaac Newton asked, was the eye contrived without skill in optics and the ear without knowledge of sounds? The debate over design continued among scientists and philosophers, not just theologians at the time of Darwin. A critic of Darwin invoked an intelligent power to explain the diversity of living organisms in the late 1850s, and the term intelligent design was invoked as a plausible alternative to Darwinism in 1897. Even the independent co-discoverer of the theory of evolution by natural selection concluded that it was possible and appropriate to detect design in nature. Other evidence in favor of intelligent design includes the fine-tuning of certain physical constraints of the universe as well as certain biological phenomena. Many things seem to be incredibly complex to come from something random. Sure, creation stories from many cultures are out there, and many are uncredible. Come on, we don't have any information that goes back that far. Today, astronomers have derived the age of the universe as over 13 million years ago since that Big Bang. Now, if you don't believe in a creator, you might like the Big Bang Theory. But again, if you do, you're left with the fact that the universe had to have a beginning, you know, that bang. Did it have a natural cause or was it something beyond natural? Some would suggest just looking at the material effect of the universe 
you should know that there was something supernatural that caused it. Some wouldn't, but people do say the universe looks designed. In fact, they see the various aspects of nature, the birds, the squirrels, the trees, and all the things that they do naturally. Well, we look at the design of the human body, the human hand, the arm, the leg, and the brain. Even though we have many defects, the human body sure seems to be some of the most advanced technology ever put together. The universe exhibits design from the starry skies at night to the fingertips on our hands. Intelligent design is overwhelming. It's everywhere. And common sense says when you see something so complex, it can't be random. That design must have originated from an intelligent design. And going back to the Big Bang, I personally can't see where an explosion would bring about order. An explosion sounds like chaos. And how can a bang cause things to come in such existence? To have a life, to be functional and complex, think about it. It seems to me it should be the other way around. The natural design we see seems to call for, if nothing else, a supernatural intelligent design. You see, the idea that there's no creative force suggests chance without a cause. The non-believer would suggest that you don't have free will. And what's going on in your brain is just the electrons bouncing around and you're the product of those bounces and you don't really make decisions on your own. It's just the physical laws or properties going on in your brain. However, if you're watching this video, it's of your own choosing, and that proves free will. <laughs> now, something must have given us that. All the other animals certainly don't seem to have it. Now, here's something from the British philosopher of religion, Anthony Flew. He said, I now believe there is a higher power. I now think the evidence does point to a creative intelligence, almost entirely because of DNA investigations. What I think the DNA material has done is that it is shown by the almost unbelievable complexity of the arrangements which are needed to produce life, that intelligence must have been involved in getting these extraordinary diverse elements to work together. He also says his rule of life had always been to follow the evidence where it leads. He said he followed that evidence, and it led him to the conclusion that there is a supernatural intelligent higher power. I'll add that we, none of us, can prove. Now, let's finish with this thought. A higher power is something greater than us. For many people, God is that higher power. For others, a higher power isn't associated with a religion or a deity. It's a connection that we share with all living things, regardless of what a higher power means to you. Thank you.